Welcome back everyone, my name is Dr. Kriva. this is some more Stellaris playing the New Horizons Star Trek mod as United Earth. And we have a slight issue and that is, um, we have this probe over here, it's in the probe class, it has quite a few hit points, it's already been taken down slightly, but um, yeah, we at least killed a pirate fleet. Alien Probe. The Alien Probe cut through Earth defenses with ease before taking up position in geosynchronous orbit. After several minutes of apparent inactivity, the probe fired a condensed energy beam of the surface of the planet, burning large swaths of the west coast of Europe to ashes before powering down. The few remaining ground batteries and a contingent from the Mars defense perimeter on patrol near Jupiter at the time of the attack were able to take advantage of pause and successfully destroyed the vessel. It will take weeks of fully, to fully access the extent of the casualties in Europe, but preliminary analysis indicates the total could reach nearly several hundred million. The people of Earth are shocked by the losses as they turn to Prime Minister Nathan Samuels to answer the question, who sent this device of wep ma weapon of mass destruction? Holy shit! Hundreds of millions! Are you kidding me? In order to determine... Yeah, we kind of have to do that. Um, Check out that debris. Holy... Holy crap! That's nuts! That's... That's... I mean, in the series, in Enterprise, this is uh, the catalyst to start Season 3. The Zindi... Um, the Delphic Expanse, the Zindi storyline, basically. And it's... Re I really... Again, Enterprise is one of my favorite Star Trek series, if not my favorite. <laughs> Mosquitoes, freaking hell. Um, yeah, it's late at night, it's hot, so I kept my window open. And of course, with screens giving light, that means mosquitoes and other things are attracted. Anyway, so... In the series, um, the probe cuts a swath from Florida down to Venezuela, which costs about 7 million people uh, to die, which is because it's mostly just the Gulf of Mexico and going through Cuba down to Venezuela that is affected. Hundreds of millions in Western Europe is insanity. In comparison, I guess, wow, that's just... Wow. I mean, in the series, it's also a good catalyst because of the character of Trip Tucker, um, the main engineer, who's like probably my favorite, my favorite or second favorite character of Enterprise. Anyway, um, he is from Florida, and it basically is his sister who manages to die at that point in that attack, and he noticeably gets very pissed off about all of that, of course. I don't know why they weren't working the assembled ship shelter, but whatever. I guess this is a better idea. Then again, what I could do... Okay, yes, research that. Let's swap these two around and just make sure we have... Um, yeah, that's better. Get the, actually that food again and a little bit more resources on minerals. Also because I'm lacking on uh, food. And I don't mind losing out on the credits right now. Class M Marshland. Oh. Novan. That's not bad, actually. Um, engineering console. Minefields. I'll do the industrial fabricators. You are done. We could actually build another colony ship, to be honest. Um. Wait. Okay. A colony ship or upgrades. I think I'm going to upgrade the spaceport first. Fleet has been repaired. While in the vicinity of 32 PX 784, Captain Chong Shu turns to the science officer and asks for his opinion, but the origins of the vessel there are approaching fast. The science officer replies that the vessel's origin is unknown, noting that it could hardly be an Earth ship. The communications officer announces that she is receiving a signal, an old Morse code to call signal. Captain Chong Shu turns to the science officer and comments about the ship not possibly being an Earth vessel. 
The ship appears on screen and the captain states it's an old DY-500 class ship. The science officer postulated to the captain, suggesting it might be an older DY-100 ship. The last such vessel built was centuries ago in the 1990s. Captain, captain Jean Xu has the ship go to full alert, not wanting to be caught off guard if the derelict vessel is being used by aliens. Um, let's come alongside the vessel. Captain's log supplemental. A full hour has elapsed since interception of the strange vessel. Our presence alongside is still being completely ignored. Although our sensors continue to show signs of equipment and life aboard, there has been no indication of danger to us. Over the intercom, the captain orders the weapons department to maintain battle stations and all other decks to stand by alert. The medical officer arrives on the bridge and informs the captain that he is picking up life signs on the vessel. Very faint and very slow. Sensors indicate 60 to 70 bodies. Is this freaking Khan? Did we just find Khan? I mean, this is from the original series if it's Khan, and this looks like the original Enterprise. The science officer informs the captain that the hull of the vessel is pitted with micrometeor impact but intact. Captain John Shu turns to the helmsman and has him rig the USS Franklin for tractor beam. Prepare to beam on board. The SS L Mag Leo McGarry. The Le are you? Is it the Leo McGarry? Uh. Are you kidding me? The Leo McGarry. I'm sorry. This is only L McGarry I can think of, and that is. Um, the chief of staff of President Bartlett in the West Wing television series. That's why the Leo McGarry just... Wow. If it is, kudos, really. Huh. While aboard, uh, Sean Chu comes across the sleep change of the person who is presumed the captain of the vessel. With the aid of the medical officer and the chief engineering officer, they are able to revive the sleeper and before long, all of the Leo McGarry's crew. After discussing the time period in which they are now, as well as the state of the galaxy as a whole, the crew decides to offer whatever help they can. Oh, credits and minerals. Top, the colony ship, top speed of warp 2. That's it. Vulcans have actually decided to colonize as well. Hmm. I would like to get this colony on Tau Ceti, because it's three planets. Gets us more borders. Interesting, though. Okay, that was... So it was... Okay, so it was not Khan. So not the Wrath of Khan suddenly happening. Which is good, I suppose. So we have... Our science ship is now coming back for the debris analysis over here. So yeah, we have someone leaving Mars. And I do have to replace this. Because I want to do the um, thingamajig with the Fort Verteron array. It will automatically initiate a special terror for me. Okay. Engineering teams have successfully analyzed the wreckage of the alien probe. Certain quantum markers in the hull material indicate exposure to a class of subspace anomalies frequent to the Delphic Expanse, a turbulent region of Coreward. The vessel's damaged computer core reveals almost nothing short of the name of the alien race, Zindi. Determined to prevent further incursions into United Earth space, the Admiralty have proposed a mission into the Delphic Expanse to gain additional intelligence. Spatial rift detected. Admiral's present as one military ship in orbit. Okay, but I want the better ship, so I need. I want my. Dis I want the destroyer for this. I don't want to do it with the freaking patrol frigates. Sadly, I don't have. Um, I have time to do this at least. An alien race appears to have a vendetta against Space humanity. Complete. Yeah, they do. Okay, since you are done, let's check out Lalande. You are done as well. I think I can safely take one of these. Geocrystalline. 16 size though. And this one too. 14 size. A class F planets. While an asteroid falling on your planet can be nerve wracking, Terra Nova has been rather fortunate. No harm has befallen the colony. Um.
Asteroid defense system. We must find a way to stop this. Spatial rift detected. Sure, go ahead. Spatial rift detected. Hmm. The question is, do I first build the colony ship for Tau Ceti? I think so. That will delay my Intrepid by a couple of months. Yeah, no, I will not. I want to get that ship out there. Long -range scan of planet complete. And let's check out Pajem. Maybe if we get to Pajem, we actually get another event. Also, we are allies, oral defensive pact with the Vulcans. Wishes to convey support following the recent Zindi attack. Such violence is illogical. That's pretty cool, though, that they can just straight up know and comment on that. That's pretty cool. Freedom Convention. 70% happy. Equal citizenry. Because we have the Novans. It's helping, I guess. So, yeah, it takes us... It's a three-year... Um, three-year project, but then there will no longer be asteroids coming in on Terra Nova, which is perfectly fine. Class H Desert Planet. H-class worlds are far drier than the Arid Class M subsets, and their entire surface area is covered in an endless desert sea. There is rarely any water on the surface. The atmosphere often contains heavy gases and metal vapor, which can charge the atmosphere with hyperonic radiation. This makes the plant inhospitable to most humanoid life forms. We have enough, almost three more months, and we can build our destroyer. Oh yeah, border control. More border, and as well as uh, other things. Yeah, no one's working that. Long range scan of planet complete. Hmm. Station complete. Minus 20, it gets us to... Yeah, there it is. That's what I was afraid of. That would lose us our um, thing. Destroyer, destroyer. Come on, we want an intrepid. There we go. Pijam has been fully s surveyed. Oh, hello. And unidentified species. Let's check him out. I want to guess it's the Andorians or the Tellarites. Jesus. So much... Encounter in Protheseon. Another... Oh, actually, yeah, that's the Andorians. Yeah, that is their homeworld, so... Let's also research them. Class M Alpine. I wouldn't actually mind colonizing this one. A little bit closer, so it's safer than Tau Ceti. And Tau Ceti, once we actually get the Federation, will probably actually be in our borders anyway. Here, build me that research station. X Microscopi. What the hell were those? I think I know what they were, but... Hmm. Probably... Things. Research speed on physics, plus 5%. Actually, I'll take the tactical console for now. The Benzite Commonwealth. We could learn much from each other, Benzites. Ooh, that, that world, though. Cannot see it, but... It looks very cloudy. Very murky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Check out the Theta aliens as well. It's the, and the, one of them is the Endorians. We know that. There we go. We have the Intrepid. USS Asimov. And I will... An engineer would actually not be bad going away. We already have a Gale Speed one. So we're gonna get Horus. Swap you two around. Affirmative. 
Okay, so... Select the expedition leader. Admiral's present. Has one military ship in orbit. So I actually built the ship first before doing this. It'll hopefully help. Tau Sadi is not yet inside Vulcan borders. The Expanse. Captain Horace Underwood has been selected to lead the mission into the Delphic Expanse to gather intelligence on the Zindi. Starfleet has provided its most advanced starship, the Enterprise, and most capable crew for it to command for the duration of the expedition, where contact with Earth is expected to be limited. A contingent of soldiers from the Mako Military Assault Command operations have also been assigned to serve under him. Oh, that actually... Oh! It just removes you... The Admiral. Okay, so Horace Underwood on the Starship Enterprise. Makes me a little bit sad that it's not Archer. Slightly. But we have a bigger ship now. Um, ooh. Oh, new election is now underway. Actually, let's check. On the one hand, I want a refiner. On the other hand, they're only at 45% happiness here anyway. Build you basic power plants. Kind of, I need a farm here. You are doing... Whoa. That's a lot of minerals on one tile. Let's see. I do actually would like to have Samuels just stay in charge. Shunchu. Fleet organizer. That's a lot of capacity. I'm going to support Samuels. Hopefully it's enough. Let's look at our ship designs for a second again. There might be some upgrades we can do. Gravitic sensor array. Okay, so the it's a lot cheaper to build the coleoptric warp engine, but it makes them a lot slower. But for the purposes of our frigates, that's actually perfectly fine. Um, after weeks of fruitless searching in the expanse, Captain Horace Underwood has found its first clue. The owner of a trolley mining station claims to employ a Zindi laborer and would be willing to arrange a meeting for a price. One of the Zindi workers' fingers is provided as evidence, an unfortunate mining accident apparently, which provokes more questions. The organic residue from the probe that attacked Earth shares a number of genetic markers in common with those from the finger, however they appear to be from separate though related species. That the Zindi may not be a single species confuses the investigation. Captain Horace Underwood convenes with the Enterprise's senior staff to decide on how to proceed. So, we, if we had the resources, we could buy the contract. Hang on. Special project complete. Okay, so we just discovered the Endorians. Hello there. We could learn more. Let's meet with them. Captain Horace Underwood leads a team into the mining facility to question the Zindi worker, a male named Kessick, after having transferred a small sum to the mining facility administrator. Kessick knows nothing of the probe that attacked Earth, however he is willing to offer the location of the Zindi homeworld on the condition that the captain feel helps free him from his contract, which comes close to slavery. He warns that the facility administrator will likely attempt to enslave Horace Underwood and the Enterprise crew in the facility too. And agreeing to help Kessig escape, Horace Underwood's team follows through the bowels of the facility until at last they reach a section where the Enterprise's transporters are able to penetrate. However, a facility security team ambushes them, mortally wounding Kessig before the transporters complete their cycle. Back on the ship, the Dine Zindi reveals the location of the Zindi homeworld and that six separate species of Zindi evolved there, including primates like himself. Set a course for the Zindi homeworld. And I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you guys later.